for going from facing a team whose quarterback is a really good runner to a pocket passer like that in Missouri? Uh, I mean, obviously, I mean, we got we got some things that, that, that we can do differently as far as because, I mean, the quarterback from Missouri, he can run it if, if, if he need, needs to, so we're still going to be aware of that. But, I mean, it's not going to be as as much as it was against Florida, so we're going to have to, you know, play play better in coverage because, you know, if if we, we play better in coverage, then, then our D-line can get there since we don't have to worry about him running so much. Going back and watching the tape, obviously Emory Jones, the quarterback, as you talked about, had a lot of yards and effectiveness. Mm -hmm. What were the things that you guys talked about from your defense that you could have done better to defend that? Um, I mean, it's really just like pass rush lanes, mm -hmm. you know, because sometimes we, we, we kind of got out of him and then he, he got loose because some of the plays that, that that he did get loose, we had good good covers in the back end, but like we kind of did, didn't get it done like like the front end. So as far as us just just working together with with the D, D line, that that's just something that we got got, got to get, get better at. Do you, what do you guys need to do to get better on, on third down to get them off the field? That's just that's just execution, like and, and then knowing the down down and distance. Does those moments feel like pretty big moments in the game because? Yeah, I mean, getting off the field is always, you know, a big part of the game because it gives the offense another chance to get on the field. But I just feel like uh, that game we didn't do, do that that well. How have you guys addressed those double passes against the defense this year? I'm not gonna lie, lie to you, seeing it again and them actually completing it this, this, this time is it was hard because he brought it up in meetings. <clears throat> Like from the first game all the way up, and then and then we're gonna keep on seeing it until until we stop it. So it's just really up to, up to us at this point. What, how do you stop a double pass? It's not a conventional play, obviously. I mean, with looking at it, it's like simple fixes, just people doing their their job and not and then not trying try to do somebody else's. What are your thoughts on playing a game at 11 a.m. Central Time? Uh, I mean, it's gonna be a little bit different. We gotta get up a little bit earlier, so. Uh, Really, just you know, know know what what what, what time you're playing at, and then you got you got to get up and get get ready to go early. Should be easy. You guys are in more practice, right? Oh, it's it, I mean, it's not not even hard getting up no more, cause cause from where I live, I, I have to get up at six, so it's fine with me. <laughs> Theo, lead lead the team four games in tackles, tackles for loss. I mean, a lot of defensive categories. <laughs> Would, if someone told you you'd be doing that four games into this year, or what would you have said? Um, I mean, I, w I wouldn't have said that they were crazy, but you know, <laughs> I would have just told them, you know, like it's it's whatever, whatever, whatever play play comes to me, I'm I'm gonna gonna, gonna try my best best to make it. And so far, I've been I've been do, doing that pretty well. Jabari Small said one of his best friends is Tyler Beatty, mm -hmm. he's running back. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Tyler Beatty? Uh, Tyler, Tyler Brady, he's been there for for a while, and we've gone and we, we, we've gone, gone to get some quite, quite quite a bit. And you know he's a re really good runner, and he has really really good, good vision. So that's just something that we have to you know prepare for. He's also pretty good catching the ball. Yeah, the and field, he and, and I think he's a leading receiver. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we that's so another week of you know the the, the running backs getting involved in the pass, pass game. How natural was the transition feel for you going from safety to start? Um, I mean, it was really natural because uh, in our last defense, the safeties had had to come down and play man coverage sometimes. And then on third downs, <clears throat> I would always go go play the money position. So that's just like the, the star, but opposite of him. So it was kind of kind of really easy easy for me. Theo saw a little bit more Christian Charles on, on defense earlier in the game. How how's he and some of those other young guys doing and trying to get available and, and ready to play more snaps when needed? I feel like that they're, they're, they're doing a great job because right now their confidence is high, and with Christian being so young, <clears throat> he's he's really like like listening to us more because you know because you know we we've, we've been playing for a while, so he's really just just listening and you know take, taking everything in. But he can he can also play play very very well too. So he's just knowing knowing his assignment and then just go out there and play. It seems like you guys are maybe playing more zone this season. Sorry, <laughs> sorry about that. It seems like you guys are playing a little bit more maybe more zone this season. Is that the, a difference? That's an adjustment you guys had to make from the last um, season? I'm not saying we we playing more zone. It's just like different variations of it. Like we have like zone matches and all that stuff. So it, it kind of it, so it kind of can turn into man. But I mean, it really gets us prepared because we'll we'll play man and then we'll throw it off with with a zone. So it kind of you know 
gets us in, in the right place because we, we we love playing zone because that's when all the picks and all and all the play plays happen in zone. You mentioned a couple weeks ago this defense was good for you because it's simpler and yeah. you to play faster. Are you seeing sure. throughout the team? Have there been fewer mental mistakes by you guys? Oh, very very few mental mistakes. Uh, like now everybody can j just fly around. You know, it's like minimal calls, so it's really just us like you know ex ex executing the easy calls and going out there and playing fast. You've done really well at the star position. I wonder. What is it about your skill set that makes you so productive playing the nickel? Uh, I just feel like that I'm more of a like fit physical player, and then uh, then my uh, thought thought process because I'm very like smart. So I feel like those two going hand to hand that I can see things quickly and then you know react well. So your experience of being in college this long has probably helped you a little bit. Oh yeah, for sure. I've seen a lot lot of different things thrown at me. So. You know, it's just for me, like just just, just seeing all, 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 all those different things. You know, I'm, I'm really like, I'm really pre prepared for anything. Feel on that forced fumble in the Florida game, mm -hmm. where you had one guy hold the guy up, mm -hmm. another strip, another one clean up, another one recover. Was that like a r really nice coaching tape for everyone to show? Oh, very nice, because they, they always te teach us one in a pile, one one person hold them up, then the other st strip it out, mm -hmm. and then one, you know. Yeah. As long as we, as long as we secure the tackle, they they're not really worried about it. But like, if somebody can secure it, if somebody can rip, rip it out. That's that's the ideal situation that, that we want. It looks it looks like Jeremy Banks plays with a whole lot of motion from our perspective. Is that, is that <laughs> fair? And what is that like? No, no, that is very accurate. He plays with a lot of emotion and he plays very fast. So you know, if if you're on the other 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 team, either you know. Buckle up or get out of the way. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> does, that, does that kind of teeter off as the game goes on, or is he like that? Oh no, he's like that the whole game, the whole game. So like that in practice? Huh? So like that in practice? Oh yeah, for, for sure in practice too. <laughs> is there any setting where he's not like that? In the uh, meet, meeting rooms, because you know he's he's trying to you know chill and you know like <laughs> learn different things, but on, on on the field, no, it's full full go for sure. What, what's it like between plays? How does it show up then? Are you trying to talk him down also, or are you trying to? I don't know. I mean, like for uh, me, like I I I like talk to him because I'm I'm sometimes in the box with him, so I just tell him like okay, bet, and then we we, we just play because I because I because I don't want to dis disrupt him from his game, you know. So I just let him, let let I so I just let him go. What did you think when he picked up the guy and uh, Kyle rode him into the ground? Uh, you know, I feel like I was playing backyard fo football. <laughs> <laughs> like, because I wasn't really trying to do it. It just happened, you know. And I was like, I, honestly, like, I'm, I'm just out there having fun. So, you know, whatever I do, I'm going to... Like I, I really did it. And I had a smile on my, on my face while, while I was doing it, too. So You got away with it, but Banks didn't. Yeah, Banks, yeah. Uh, wow, I don't even know what he was going to say about that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you need to teach him how to do it better. <laughs> you know, I'll, 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 I'm just doing for what, what I'm coach. Hit and drive, drop your feet. That's it. <laughs> With the minimal calls, do you feel yeah. like you have more time pre-snap and you're more comfortable to maybe see the offense come out and kind of see what happens? Oh, definitely. Like, and then that's one thing that I love since, since it's like, so it, it's not really that many, like, checks they have to make. So we make one check. And then now we can focus on the offensive formation, where where the receiver splits are, who's on the ball, who's off the ball, and things like like that. With that simplicity, how much does that allow you with just kind of your football knowledge to help younger guys and to help them see stuff that, that maybe they don't run off the bat? Wait, 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 wait say, say, say with, again, I'm sorry. With the simplicity that you guys mm -hmm. are running on defense, yeah. how much easier does that make it with your football knowledge to help younger guys see stuff easier and, and help translate things for them? Uh, I mean, since so since I was in like you know one of the hardest de defenses, and then this is so much simpler. Um, I can I can break it down to them a little little bit better, and then and then they can understand it easier than when than, than, than what I, I had to you know like learn it. So it really make makes it easier for for, for everyone. Thank you, Dio. Thank you. Yep.